What is up, guys? I am happy to see all of you guys. My name is Homebred Pac-Man, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Walking Dead. We're still currently on episode one. Uh, quick note here, when I tried to record up to this point because I stopped after the last video, I came back and apparently it erased most of what I'd done, so I was redoing stuff. Luckily, thanks to my previous recordings, I was able to uh, get back to the proper point after rewinding one chapter. So, what do you say we get back to things, huh? Last time we went around the pharmacy a bit, we found a photo of our family and found out Carly knows exactly who we are. So, uh, let's, let's see here. Well, let's talk to Clem real quick. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. Yeah, yeah, it did. But you stopped it. Yes, we did. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not going to go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. More than likely we can Good. do it. Uh... Well, I'm gonna keep looking around. I already asked her if she heard from okay. Glenn, so... Uh, let's... Oh, look. Let's move this pallet. Move the pallet. Do it. Pick it up! Oh, a stick. What's that? It's a stick. This is my dad's cane. Oh, it's a cane. He would zip around here on it from time to time. <laughs> Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. <laughs> Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad Aww. gave it to me. That was so sweet. Your dad's just smart like that. It's funny how the old guys know how to make it look good. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. Okay, uh... Desk. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. We established that. Then let's do it. Come on. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? It's the third time he said, let's get this door clear. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Let's do it. Mm. Okay. So, how are you doing? There we go. Yeah, it's not that heavy. <laughs> how about with everything outside? It's not good. Oh, no. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> she, struggled. she actually went cross-eyed for a second. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, uh, um, what do I pick? What do I pick? What do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Oh, those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Good job. Like, um, social studies? Pretty much. Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> uh, what? All right, a little further. Watch your hand. Watch your head. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Uh, well, we kind of... Uh, I hope not, it's just complicated. No, it's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. Uh... But you love them, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Uh, uh. I, um, I, get, I got into a fight once. And what happened? <sighs> and it ended really badly. And Just so you know, I hit. To talk to I killed a guy. That's so sad. Let's yeah, it is. Move this thing. Uh, yeah, guys. No matter what my philosophy is, in the Ow. end, yeah. Are you That's okay? a lot of blood. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. A little? 
That was a river of blood. I'll find you a bandage. Anyway, guys, uh, I was saying before, uh, I mean, it's my personal philosophy. If if you agree, then cool. If not, then that's cool too. Uh, I personally believe that in the end, you gotta love your family. Let's have a look at that thing. You don't have to like them. No. It hurt. But you gotta love them. Let's see if we can do something about it. Uh, okay. Let's bandage. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, now we have a drawn-on bandage. Okay. Lee? What? What do I do? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh. They'll uh, track us down. Yeah, they'll, tra they'll oh. track us down. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. <laughs> Stay close to me until then, okay? I just don't have the heart to tell this little girl that her parents more than likely are not coming back. <gasps> Ooh, remote! Hey. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let me take it. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's talk with Clem just a little bit. Huh? How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. You're more than welcome, Clementine. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. All right, well, we got a remote, and there's a TV. So, let's see if we can get some news on. That's what I figured. Down. No signal. No signal. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, uh, maybe. A protector, at least. Well, uh, it's Guy's duty to look good and protect his loved ones. Well, Clem, let's go. Want to head back into the drugstore with Let's me? do it. Okay. Lee? Hmm? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking uh, me that? Mm. That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh... No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? Uh, well, he was. Well, uh, it's probably going to come back to bite me in the ass later, but I made that decision. Okay, uh, let's let's look around a bit, huh? There's Clem. Uh, let's look at the newspaper. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. <laughs> Well, let's talk to Carly real quick, see if she's got this radio working. Hey, Carly. Hey, Carly. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, <laughs> and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. Nope. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. Oh, well. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Alright. Go ahead. We're gonna be Mr. Fix-It. Hey there. What the? Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, oh. Little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Oh, where's the bandage? Or on the talkie, or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. 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 Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor end. Ah. Hey, Glenn. Jeez. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you. All right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds You're good. better. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back. Okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. Probably not. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. Sounds like a plan. That's what you want to do. Somebody's got to. Uh, yeah, um, I don't want to do it, but we gotta do it. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. Now, can we take a look at that radio I was fooling with just a second ago? Huh? 
examine. Let me have a look at that thing. Yeah. Let, Go ahead. Let's try again. Now then. Okay. Power. Nothing. Uh, antenna. That might do it. And just to make sure. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's uh, just close that. Turn it over. And. You fixed it. She had the batteries in backwards. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Oh, Steve. Uh, oh. God bless you all. Mmm, badass. <laughs> he just slides right along. And those are very, very creepy eyes. Mmm, badass. Okay, hey enough of that. Uh, that radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, yeah, sure. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. And again, maybe not. Uh, well, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm definitely concerned. Okay, let's try this again. You ready to head out? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's roll. Vamanos. Andale. Push it to the limit. That had nothing to do with this scenario. Oh well. Let's keep this rolling. Oh, we're at the... Would you? Get down. Oh, hey, it's a jock. A jock zombie. Jock zombie. Did you see that? I'm sorry, guys. I can't help it sometimes. Be ready to shoot. Do it. Do it. Oh, Glenn. Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. That wasn't so hard. Chow so cold. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Yeah, we gotta roll. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Oh. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. Oh. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave Yeah, her. we can't leave Damn his right supplies. Kid. You guys are suicidal over a girl. Yeah, I'm safe. No, she is supplies. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. She's not a damsel in distress. She is supplies. Okay, so we got those two. That one. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, he's uh, munching away. Munch, crunch, lunch. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. No, we do not. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quiet. Oh, no, not that. Who is attracts these things? Now let's have a look around. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that actually scared me a little bit. The thing was looking right at me. Anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna end it right there for the time being. Next time around, we're gonna try and uh, 
figure out the combination to take out every one of those zombies quietly. So, wish me the best of luck, guys. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed so far. Feel free to like and fave if you have. Also, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you would not mind hitting that subscribe button and becoming part of the Homebred Pack family today, I would greatly appreciate it. I hope all of you guys have a great day. I look forward to seeing you all next time around. This is Homebred Pac-Man, signing off.